Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to sell digital products on Gumroad. The first thing you want to do is go onto gumroad.com. Once on gumroad.com, I want you to tap on sign up in the top right hand corner, right where you see dashboard on my screen. But before doing that, I want you to know that the fee for Gumroad is a flat 10% flat rate right there. So that's all you'll have to pay for each sale, they'll collect 10%. So it is very reasonable. Now, once you have tapped on sign up, you can sign up using different social media platforms. For example, your Twitter account, your Facebook account, or you could simply tap on Gmail and you could use your Gmail account or you can choose to enter an email address. Once you have done that, you are going to see the two-factor authentication setup option and you are going to simply go into your email address and from there you can enter the verification code that they have sent you. Once you have done that, you are going to be led to a dashboard just like this. And what I want you to do next is go over to the left-hand menu option, tap on products. After you have tapped on products, you are going to tap on new product in the top right hand corner. Once you have tapped on new product, you could enter your product name right here. So let's say for example, I want to name this product first. Then you can tap on digital product. Or if you intended to sell a ebook, you could simply tap on ebook. But I'm going to tap on digital product for this example. Then you are going to scroll down and you are going to enter your digital product price. But before doing that, you can select the excuse me, you can select the currency that you would like to use. I leave it as US dollars. Then you can enter your price right here. Scroll back up, then tap on next, customize in the top right hand corner. After you have tapped on customize, you'll be led to this dashboard. And this is basically the cover page of your product. So you'll see a preview of how it looks in the right hand column. And to edit it, you'll go over to the left hand column and you could enter the description. You can also see the product URL right there. And you can scroll down and you can add a cover image if you want by tapping on upload images. You can also add thumbnails if you want. And you can see the product info so you can edit the call to action so you have three options i want this buy this or pay you can select whichever one of these call to actions then you can scroll down and you can see additional settings that you can also use or editing options right here once everything is there liking you're going to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to tap on content once you have tapped on content, this is where you will be able to add your digital product. Now to add your digital product, for example, let's say you would like to upload a file from your device. You could simply tap on the icon that says insert file right beside the bird right here. After you have done that, you can either choose to upload computer files or if you would like to embed a video, for example, from YouTube or any other platform, you could tap on embed video. If you would like to import a product from Dropbox, you could do that. Or if you would like to add an existing product, you could do that by simply tapping right there. Or if you simply like to type out your product, you could simply tap in the box and you could start typing right here. So you can start typing right there if you want. And there are numerous other editing options that you can also access. For example, you can also add a button if you want. So you could tap on the arrow right here and you could insert a button. And once you have done all of that, if you would like to add another page, you could tap on the last icon that says create page and you'll be able to create a new page. And from here, you could add your page name. And then you can create other pages if you want by simply tap on add another page. And you can create numerous pages. Once you have done all of that, you'll simply tap on save changes in the top right hand corner. 
after you have tapped on save changes you could tap on publish and continue and from there your digital product will now be live and you'll be able to share your digital product and start making some sales and hopefully start making some money and you can also edit your checkout page for example if you would like to add a discount code you can do with that by going over to the left hand menu option you could tap on checkout and you could tap on new discount in the top right hand corner give your discount a name and then you can enter your discount code or you could use their pre-selected discount code and from here you'll scroll down select your product after you have selected your product you have two options you can either offer a percentage off or you could offer a fixed amount off with your discount so after doing that you will tap on add discount and your viewers or your potential customers will now have access to a discount code another thing that you will also need to set up on gumroad is going over to the left hand menu option once more you are going to tap on payouts by tapping on payouts you will simply go over to the top right hand corner tap on settings then from there you will need to verify some things so the first thing you're going to do is choose your country then if you have a valid government id you will simply tap right there if you also have proof of residency you will tap right there and then you will be able to connect your paypal and other payment options for example stripe and so on by doing this you will be able to offer those payment options to your potential customers and once you have done all of that your digital product will now be live and you'll now be able to share it hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe